Welcome to Fun with Texture Paste. I'm Betty Dow, and this, I think, is our fifth or sixth video, video that we've done. Marsha's my camera girl, and I'm sharing some of the things that I've learned over the year. These are free, and I hope that you learn something from it. This is gonna be more or less an ornament video. I was asked to donate to our golf tournament here in town, the Jackson Memorial. All the money goes to scholarships for the high school. And so I decided to do a gift basket. Since it was a golf tournament, why not do golf balls? So this is what I have. There'll be a book, gift bag, note card, napkin, wine glass, and two golf balls that can be used for ornaments. A bottle of wine with it would be just great, but this is my donation. So when I decided I was going to do that, I thought, okay, might as well start with ornaments. It's never too early to start for the holidays. So what I have here is this piece of glass that I use for my granddaughter and great-grandson when they're painting. And I have the paper underneath for stroke work and they'll practice S and C strokes on this, on the glass. Then we can wipe it off. Then they'll practice flowers that we're going to use possibly in one of these ornaments or in something else they're doing. So today I thought, well, it was suggested that do the sample on that. It would be so much easier for you to see than uh, me with a golf ball. This is what the golf ball looks like when you're finished. Make sure that you have a hole drilled in the top for this little hook. And then you can put either this on, or I like to put ribbon. And the first thing you do is you take the ball and make sure that you have an older ball. Don't ruin some good golf balls. And give it a coat of white paint that has sealer in it. And I'm using the Josonia Titanium White with sealer. So give it a couple of coats of paint. Before I do that, usually the, they're used golf balls, so I make sure I wash them and then sand them a little bit lightly, wipe them off, and then apply the base coat. So this would be the first step that you would do, would be the base coat. Then the second step would be the red. At the top, and I've got the red I'm using So what I do is right around the hook, I put the red strokes. Oh, let's see, that would be just going to this one. And 
and that's his little hat. Then the second thing I do is put skin tone. And I've taken my red that I've used and just taken the white and just made a skin tone. And a lot of times I add a little yellow oxide to it just to yellow it a little bit. So that would be the, the next step is to to get the skin tones in there. And because you, it's hard to to put patterns on these bumpy little critters, I took my Sharpie fine pen and I put the eyes in, just the outline of the eye where I wanted it. So you've got an eye here and an eye here and it and that's where I'm going to use the paint. So it, it doesn't have to be too dark. So now I'm ready. I'm going to put the dark in here. Make sure I get it. And then in the corner here, I put the a little dark. This this one's not good. So you can always take water. and lift it. There. And then while I've got the black on my brush, I'm just going to give him or her a few little eyelashes. Then get the white. and put the white in. Okay, once I have that, then I put my little red nose in right here between the eyes and the mouth, the lips. Now I'm a rose mauler, so doing faces and things like that is not my best suit, but I do have fun with it. So, and that's the main thing is to be able to paint and have fun. So now I've got the mustache to worry about. So I'm going to take my white paint first and from the middle on, get the mustache. Got the white paint on my brush, so I'm just going to give a dot of white on the nose.
I don't know, I think it's easier painting it on the golf ball is it, than on this glass, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take my texture paste and I tried using wood filler and painting that and that didn't work too well. And that's when I contacted Chrome and asked them if they would send me texture paste so that I could play with it. And that's what, this is what they've sent me. And I've used this before, so I know this works. Now I'm going to put the mustache on. As I said, you can use the rake brush going to put the texture paste around here. Just pat it on. just it'd be a good idea to let it dry just a little bit before you and you can use the chisel edge of your brush too something little like this just patting you know works out good So I think that's about it with the, the golf ball. And like I said, it's so much easier using the ball because you can twist it and turn it and work it where here. I'm better on the right side than I am the left side. And then around the top, I noticed I put a little bit up here too. Give me some hair. You can do wherever you want. I mean, those of you that do characters and things like that, you know this better than me. You know what to do. But the main thing is to have fun and to do this. Then the other thing that I did was, and this was easier, was to take the golf ball and just do what I call smush flowers, which are double load, like I'll do a couple here. I'm going to do it in red, tip it in light. 
and I'll use this as the center. And then you can put whatever color you want for the center. And on this other one, I did do some line work. So I took my liner and I'll use the red, but I would use a different color probably. And, you know, come out from the ball and make couple of teardrops. The top. And then you could go around and give it some dots, depending on you know how much room you have. But that's one way to do a little bit of stroke work on the ball. And this was another one. Just simple little things. Takes you no time at all. Then make sure at the bottom you sign your name. The other thing, since I was playing with the texture paste, I had these in my stash that well, probably 30 years that I was going to do for the grandkids. Now they have children, so they might enjoy it. And I had a picture originally. Do you think I could find the picture? No. But it just happened that I had drawn a little bit of eyes and the mustache on one of them. So I thought, okay, go for it. And um, so what I did was I took my red and I painted that in. And then I put the face on using the the skin tone like I used there. And then I put the mustache on. No, I did the skin tone. And then I took a little bit more to give it a little bit darker up here so it would pop. And then the red here and that. And on this, I took a little bit of the dark and added white to it to sort of outline it. The eyes I did the same way. And then I did the texture paste. And with this, I did use the rake brush. And it's one thing that you can, you know, give it a couple of coats. Here, I just stippled and got that nice and fluffy. But, um, it's something just to have fun with. And then the back, I'll just put that red and put the hair down here and the beard, the back of the head. And here's where I will put the name of the child and the date. Here's another little, here's a little Nissa that I did and uh, his beard and hair I did with the texture paste. And then on the back, that one I did draw the pattern on so I had something to go by. And then when you're done with this little guy here and he's dry, I got this little ball 
in. I, after I'm done, I varnish it. When it's dry, then I glue the little ball on and then I'll put a ribbon here. I keep this on while I'm painting and a lot of times I will hang it at different places in the house, in my studio, to dry. But I like using the ribbon for that. And as you see, I've got some more to go. These haven't been backgrounded yet, but I've got the eye in here and ready to go here. When I'm painting them, so that I don't have to chase them, the first time I did it, I was chasing them all over, I use these little milk caps and I'll stick it in there and I'll hold it, you know, while I'm painting like that and then I'll put it in to dry. But I do the cap first, let that dry. Do the face, let that dry. And then, I mean the background, the skin color. Then I go from there. But having these little caps are great. I tried that, which it fits on, but you're chasing it. So, okay. So, have fun with the golf balls. And I think really, this is a neat thing right now. You could take a golf ball, put the eye in the top, and paint it. And what a nice Father's Day gift to give. Or any time, just to give, you know, a gift. And especially if it's a golf ball, they played with and it's, you know, ready for retirement, then it's their special ball. So I hope that you'll get something out of this and will enjoy playing and working with these golf balls and with the texture paste. I use the Jasonia colors and the texture paste and I use the Jasonia brushes. And the main thing is to enjoy and to share. And after 40 years, I'm still enjoying and I love sharing with you. Take care and God bless. Thank you.